Hi guys, it's Nick again. Um, Monty wanted to say a quick hello. So, go on, say your piece. Say your hello. Hello. He's looking out the window. You can see, you can see Andrea, my wife, going out in the car. Who's that? Is that your mum? There she goes. So, go on, are you going to go down? He's <laughs> still staring out the window. Right. There you go. Go on then. I'm covered in hair now. Um, yeah, I thought I'd do another quick video. Um, yesterday we popped up to see Andrea's dad. He lives in Milton Keynes. And um, while we were there, I, I took him to get a, a prescription. So I had to wait around five or ten minutes. And I saw a charity shop. So me being me, I popped in and had a look. And I found some interesting stuff. Um, there were these bits, nothing particularly exciting here. Uh, some Mr. Men books, always worth picking up if they're if they're ten p is about what I usually pay for these. One limited edition special one. Um, some CDs at fifty p. Uh, nothing really exciting, but the sort of stuff that I make bundles out of and make good money on. This was quite nice. Uh, Hitman triple pack. It's not worth masses. The last time I sold it, I think I got six ninety nine for it. Um, it's a three disc pack and these are in absolute mint condition. They're really, really nice. Um, so it is worth picking up and I, it was only a pound in there so I was all over that one. Uh, and then I picked up a Tales of Beedle the Bard. It's a J.K. Rowling um, book, so part of the Harry Potter series, like a spin-off. Um, on the basis that I'd, I remember selling these really well a number of years back. Um, but the market is absolutely flooded in these, so they're not really worth picking up. But it was only 20 pence, so I grabbed it anyway. Um, but do look at these when you see them, because if you can find one that's a first edition, so it would say first edition here, uh, the first editions are still worth good money. You'd get 15 to 20 pounds top end, but around the 15 is about right for a first edition. So do pick these up when you see them, and just check if it says first edition inside. That's a later edition, not really worth much more than a pound or two. Uh, but I grabbed that anyway. And then a few Jacqueline Wilson books. I've got a stack of these now, so it's about time I need to make a big bundle up. Uh, these were 20p each, and in bundles I get about a pound each back on those. So there was those bits. But then I saw this. I was going to do a separate video, a little bolo about these, um, because there is surprising money in these. All it is is a, a kid's shape sorter, all the shapes come out of there and then they go in these holes. Uh, and you'll see shape sorters all over the place and the vast majority are not even worth looking at. But this is made by Tupperware and Tupperware is a brand in general that's worth picking up but these shape sorters in particular. I paid £2 for this one and I tend to list these for about 15 um, go on and have a look yourself at completed Tupperware shape sorters uh, and then do it by buy it now and see what people are getting. I mean people people have listed these for 20 quid and beyond sometimes and still manage to get it but the last few of these I've sold I put on at £15 and they, they go really quick. Uh, there should be 10 different shapes in there um, so just check that they've got the 10 shapes when you buy them. Oh that's the postman. Um, yeah, so that was nice to find one of those. Uh, yeah, it was £2 and I'll sell that for 15 And then I picked this up for a pound. It's Monty Python, uh, now for something completely different, board game. Um, I tried to find out, I looked it up and there's very few that have sold recently on eBay. But for a pound I thought I'd take a chance on that. I don't know what I'll get back. I think I'll list it for a tenner and see how it goes. Uh, so that was quite nice. And then there was this set on the shelf. This is Risk, a fantastic game to pick up. It's still got its original price on there, twenty four ninety nine, uh, and it's sealed. Uh, it's still factory sealed, uh, and it was on the shelf at five pounds. So, so I went for that. Um, I'll probably list it for twenty pounds and free shipping, or maybe fifteen. But at five pounds, it was. It's going to be a quick, easy sell. Oh, there's the price tag. £5. So yeah, that was a great find. That will be quick, easy money on that one. Um, so yeah, my, my 
five minutes waiting around for my wife's father was um, put to good use. Once I've sold all of those bits, that'll be a, a nice little bit of extra profit. Um, and then one other thing I got in on uh, a few days back, I found these on Amazon. And it was either a, a pricing mistake, which is what I think it was, um, or they were clearing certain sizes of these for some random reason. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I've got a whole box full of uh, Halloween outfits and these ones were two pounds um, and these ones were 98 pence each I think they were. Um, but they, they were selling them in all different sizes. This is a size small, age four to six, but they had like six to eight and eight to 12 or something like that. Uh, and the other sizes were way more money. Um, so I don't know why they, they had singled out this size in particular to mark down to to 98p. But I, I went on those. There was a, there was a maximum purchase allowed of five so I bought five of those and then these ones it was the same story these were two quid each but the other sizes this one is at age 12 to 14 but the other sizes the smaller ones like this were way more money uh, it didn't really make any sense but I went on them it's, it's too late now for me to list these and get them out in time for Halloween this year but they'll just sit on the side and then next Halloween I'll sell them for for good money and make some really good profit on those. So that was interesting. And they were flagged up on uh, Hot UK Deals again. So there's, there's loads of them in here. And like I say, I'll just I'll just sit and probably pop them in the loft until next until this time next year and then list them for Halloween. So that was those. So there you go guys, just a few more little bits of stock. Um, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you again soon. Take care guys.